Next question is from Lewis Lifts A Little. How do you handle your mindset after coming back from an injury? I strained my lower back a couple weeks ago. I know what I did and didn't do that led to the strain. I also know how to heal it and it's healed. Now I just need to heal my mindset. Every time I get to 300 plus pounds for my squat, I start to psych myself out. I complete a couple sets and I then get into my own head and stop before I hit my set goal for the day. I think Adam could answer this. He's had a few injuries last <laughs> yeah. <couple> years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, here's the thing too. Like um, this idea that we always have to be increasing the amount of weight. I mean, squatting 300 pounds is, is phenomenal. I mean, that's uh, for anybody, right? I know there's all kinds of stuff on the internet of this makes you consider you a really strong person or kind of strong. It's a like 300 pound squats. Good. Yeah. Yeah, if, yeah, exactly. If you can, if you can squat 300 pounds uh, up until you're, you know, late sixties or seventies for oh the rest God, of your life, you're, you're great. Yeah. You're that's phenomenal. So this idea that we always have to progress back or further or add more weight to the bar. I, I think that's, myth. and that's something that I had to get out of my head is that, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm wanting to, of course, I want to see progress and I want to add more and I want to add more. And I have to check that sometimes and go like, why though? Like why? So I could tell the guys, yo, I hit 405 today. Like, what's the real point of it? Like, is it, I'm not competing anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like, is it going to enhance and improve my life anymore? No, not really. So I think this, this idea of always having to push more weight to prove to whoever or whatever that you're you're progressing or you're doing great, I think it's silly and you got to let go of that. I, I think that's the first key to healing a mindset like this is the idea that you have to keep pushing beyond that. There's nothing wrong with you sticking out of weight right. and realizing that, wow, hey, here, so your weight is that, right? So mine is 400. Like when I start going over 400, shit happens because I'm, I'm, I'm pushing it towards my peak of what I can lift at. And all it takes is me to be, you know, a little off that day or not have the energy and strength that I thought I had going into it. And it puts me at a higher risk. So the higher you go, the higher the risk is. Sure, the potential higher reward may be, but what what do you really need that right. reward? Now, now, I do get what he's saying, though, in terms of – so what Adam's saying is that that's the core. That's the core root. Like that's something everybody, I think, should work on. But I do understand what he's saying in terms of the mindset because if you've ever injured yourself doing something – Let's say you're riding your bike mm -hmm. and you fall off and you twist something or you play basketball. and do There's something. some hesitancy before you go perform it again. You get the fear, yeah. right? There's a little bit of fear. Oh, my God, I remember last time I went to do this and, boy, did I hurt myself really bad. So I totally understand that. Here's how you get around any fear. You have to desensitize yourself to that movement. Now, what that and that's a slow process. So if you get fearful at 300 pounds, get really good at squatting 250. Like really, really good, like perfect, tight, slow form. Get to the point where you could pause at the bottom, mm -hmm. pause halfway up, get really good at it, and then add 10 pounds. Then get really good at 260. Slowly get yourself back up to where you were before, but own it, completely own it, and get really, really good at it each and every single step of the way. And what will happen is you'll desensitize yourself yeah. to the squat, and then you'll get over that fear. This is also where I like to, to load the bar and just hold it and feel the weight. Uh, and I know, like, uh, I remember, I think you brought that up beforehand when, when you're starting to squat and the guys would just load, well, you need to that feel was, the weight. That was Adam. That was Adam. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I, I honestly feel like that, that provides a, you know, a valuable uh, feedback mm -hmm. that, that you can control this. You can stabilize in this position. You could feel that all the way down your body. It's not going to crush you. Uh, and, and so if it's a fear thing, I think the exposure in the different components of the lift, uh, will really help, uh, kind of break through that. Yeah. I like that idea too. And like, so something you can do along, like uh, set the, the squat or the safety bars up, right. Yep. Oh, I was just and, exactly. and actually, you know, add 50 pounds over what you could probably do and just and, put it down and yeah, just go just down, sit down, just slow. go as slow as you can. Right. Mm -hmm. And just, but you know, just you're not, it. yeah, your goal is not to come in, back out of it. In it's fact, just that, set it down that slowly. highlights something is learning how to dump the bar. That's a skill, yeah. actually. A lot of people don't know how to do it properly or they're afraid and they've never done it before. And then when they get pinned, they don't know how to dump the bar properly and then they get hurt. That's actually something you, you should practice. Get a bar on your back and figure and learn how to dump the bar and also learn when to dump the bar. Like there's a point where you're grinding a weight up and you're better off just dropping the weight. You maybe we'll get it up if you try to grind it out, but you'll probably hurt yourself. Like 
you start to learn where that point is, like, ah, oh, and you're like, this isn't it. And then you know, and that's, then you're comfortable dropping. That's the how bar. I, I mean, you mm -hmm. guys have probably seen me dump the bar more than anybody. Yeah, here. Yeah. I always, I, and a lot of times, you could have, I, I could have got it out, but I already feel the breakdown a little bit. And if I feel the breakdown even in the slightest bit, I'm dumping the yeah, bar. It's not rid worth of it. it. Yeah. I know it's funny. That's like when I got rid of all training partners. Like, it was like, it, because <laughs> the last time I relied on a training partner, they fucked up, you yeah. know, and like I almost got really hurt. And it's just like, it's so much easier to just dump the bar and, and 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 do that yourself. Oh, you're right, dude. Like imagine if I, this has happened to me too where I'm up pin I'm under a bar and I want to dump it but my my partner is behind me trying to help me. Yeah. So I got to grind it out with the person behind yeah. me. I can't dump it. So I would definitely recommend like what you said Adam, set the safeties, practice that feeling. Once you're comfortable failing, then you're probably not going to be as fearful of the bar.